Hello everybody and welcome back to some more, just, let's just call it deleted. Did I just start, I just crashed the game immediately by clicking continue. You fool, the video has been started for two damn seconds. And I immediately crashed the game because I accidentally clicked continue rather than new run. What a brilliant start to the episode. But I was going to say, we might as well just call this welcome to deleted because that's all we play now, but I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a lot of fun. Crashing the game, breaking everything, it's disastrous and it's beautiful. The game will eventually start again. It won't be a black screen forever, so I do apologise that all of you are having to um, sit through this, but I've kind of reached a point where I should have paused the video, but I didn't, and so I'm too far in to to now pause it so now I'm just having to sit through the loading screen. Anyways, it updated a few mods that apparently didn't want to update the last time I launched it, so that's good. But anyways, maybe sometime within the next, I don't know, year, the game will actually boot up. It says it's updating mods, but the game isn't launching. There you go. It's finally launched. Could we could we maybe get that for the viewers, please? Could they, could they maybe see that? Is it gonna, is it gonna show up? There you go. Wow. That took way longer than it should have done. Anyways, back to the deleted. I think last time was spyware, I think. I think. I can't remember exactly. It's been a few days since I recorded, actually. I backlogged a few videos, then had a little break. Um, not for any reason in particular. Okay, we played Crypt Blocker last. We already did spyware. Wait, let's, let's have a look, see what we got going on. So we did... We did Happy 99, we did I Love You, we did Morris, we did Zip Bomber, we did Crypt Locker, we did Spyware. Okay, we got Jerusalem here as the next one. Start with random stats, items, appearance. Okay, so I can never remember exactly how this one works. Anyways, we started with... I can't remember what the space bar does. Okay, the space bar is just a random space bar that seems to be broken. And we have um, two Bob's Bladders and a Golem Trinket smelted. Cursed Dice is incredibly good to take off the bat here, so it uses it twice. The, this this thing's literally useless. Um, so I think, th let me just check. This thing rerolls your curses, grants a curse if you don't have one, gives you a half black heart. Yeah, pretty good. So it's going to be a relatively regular deleted run. Like, we didn't really get anything super special. Our active was kind of duty. Um, eh, do you know what? Let's restart until we get something a little more interesting. How about that? We got some interesting stuff here. So we got the um, Eye of Balrog or whatever it's called. I can never remember the name of it now. Um, we got an active that may just be wooden nickel. We got the, um, the the skeleton key tainted version that only allows us to ever hold five keys. But we get stats up for opening doors, I think, something along those lines. Um, Whoa, these guys are moving at lightning speed. Also, we gained an item on being hit there, so... Yeah. All sorts of strange stuff going on right now. That's pretty nice, I'll take it. This one's definitely more interesting. It's got some more spice to it. The other one... The items that we started with were just not great. This one's really got some... Junk in the trunk. It does seem that we only get that, that um, astral thingy item upon being hit and only for that one room, which isn't great, but we'll take it. But yeah, using keys is going to give us stuff. Okay, this is giving me a penny every time. Maybe I'm just getting really lucky or maybe it just gives you a penny every time. Oh god, just about to say I'm going to get hit here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sit right here. Uh, oh, dude, I didn't realize they did that. Whoopsie. We got the urn. Um, yeah, I'll take that for a big old tears up. Thank you. I will check my shop as well, because why not? Some good stuff in here. Some good stuff. Members card is really nice. I'm going to bomb this guy in the hopes that he gives us two pennies. Oh, and he did. And I'll take the member card. I'm not going to go down to that one because I can't afford anything. And it'll just take items out of the pool that I'd rather not have removed from the pool. Oh, we also got a new champion version of Little Horn here, which is one that I haven't seen before. Interesting. Oh, we, we also got a Soiled Heart too, which I can't remember exactly how the Soiled Hearts work. But I think... Oh. Let's not lose it. Okay, no, I already lost it. Okay, so they, they get lost in one hit. I was going to say, I think when you complete rooms, you get dips. So that would have been cool to see, but it has unfortunately perished um, under my failure. Interesting version of him there. 
We got the stem cells going on. Just grab that, I guess. So, so sucky that I lost that. Uh, can we open up this golden chest here? So, I just need to check something. Am I going to get a stat up for spending a key here? Does it only work on doors? It might only work on doors. No, I got a stat up right there. For every full heart lost, uh, get half a heart back. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. As for the question of the day today, what is a peculiar talent that you've seen someone do that you wish you could do? Or uh, it doesn't even have to be super peculiar, but what's like a, a sort of specific talent? Oh, I, I forgot we have the buffed stem cells. It actually shoots for us now. It's pretty cool. Um, For, for me, I think it has to be like just unnecessary gymnastics and like parkour and stuff stuff that like in your in your real life you'd never actually need or use but it just looks insanely cool i wish i was more capable of doing things like that and i know that like obviously with those things you you can get there with time and practice but i don't have the time um and also i am starting from like an absolute zero like i am legitimately one of the most unflexible human beings that I've ever seen. Um, I don't know what it is with my body, but it just does not. It does not. It just can't even. <laughs> I'm so unflexible. I'm really liking the spiky ball thing and having the Aya Balrog. The Aya Balrog is insanely strong. And honestly, this stem cell buff, I like it. It makes a lot of sense because it's like, gives you the heart, but it also gives you a little baby that fires because you've literally got a baby growing out of your head. Why wouldn't it be able to shoot at enemies? It's a nice addition. I like it. I'm not sure how it scales. I'm not sure if it scales to that damage. I'm not sure if it's static damage. I'm not sure if it scales to that fire rate. I have no idea. I'm gonna, I was just about to say, I'm going to get hit here. And, excuse me. Why is this enemy not... Yeah, there you go. Just, we got some range there. Oh, and we got clockwork as well. An item that I absolutely love. One tier does more damage. The other has um, rubber cement. Overall, very, very nice to have, in my opinion. As long as we're getting regular key drops, that's fine. Just remember, we can never hold more than five keys. Five keys is our maximum. You're probably going to end up hitting me a good few times, but honestly, I've learned this guy enough that I can confidently say I'm not going to get hit too much. There's, there's, there's absolutely no guarantee that I'm not going to get a hit at all. I mean, that's definitely still going to happen. But I think I've gotten to the point where I'm much better at this guy now. I've just got to be careful when he does his little... This bit here where he lobs his bomb out. That's the one that always hits me. And his little dunk attack, whatever you want to call it. You'll see... You'll know the one I mean when, he, when you see it. Anyways, he's in second phase now. Second phase is weirdly both easier and harder. The, the, the bullets coming from the sky make it a lot, lot harder. Um, but he does have less health in this uh, phase than the first phase. And also, the nuke is kind of, like, not that bad. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be coming anywhere near, um... Okay, we can just get him here. Anywhere near the spiky boy, but oh well. We get the corn kernel. Really not very good. We do have quite a lot of HP, so I'll check the devil deal here. Ooh, this is a potentially quite good devil deal. Um... Enemies that come close, you become crippled. Your tears can also cripple them. Crippled enemies lose their speed over time, die after 12 seconds of losing it. When crippled enemies die, they release a fountain of slowing black tears. That seems rather intriguing. I'm going to take it. Very risky on the health front, I will say. Very risky indeed. But I'm up for a gamble, and I think Incubus plus Clockwork should hopefully keep us going. It should hopefully fuel this fire. Oh, hello. Parasite would be a lot of fun. Parasite would be a lot of fun. I also like the fact that it seems to be a cat selling it. That, that intrigues me. But yeah, we can get a lot of money here for our active. Even though our active is a bit dull. Our active might have another use attached to it. We don't actually know for sure. But I'm just so far based on our use I'm assuming it doesn't. Unfortunately, nothing there for us. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see about this Mark of Cain. Ooh, we need to be a little more careful here. Luckily, we've got this there, though. So that should be... Oh, I was going to say that should be a soul heart. It's not. It's okay, though. We've got a heart back. We've almost got enough for Parasite. Parasite's probably going to be a bad idea in terms of our ability to play the game. Uh, just, due, just due to the, the insane amount of lag it'll add to this run. But it's an item that I adore very dearly. And thus will definitely take regardless.
Ooh. Wiggly, wiggly tears. Yeah, I think having Incubus along for the ride here is uh, certainly helpful. You need to die, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I love this gaining stats for... Ooh. Ooh. This... Yeah, this creates some weird stuff now, because this means all of our tiers have insane bullet speed. Um, and with, with Bouncy, I think that's going to create for some pretty insane... Some pretty insane stuff. All we need now is, like, Continuum on top of this. I'm going to open this just for the stats, um, and we can check what's in here. I suppose we could actually check our Black Market, um, whatever you want to call it. Eh, nothing amazing there. I kind of might want the Burn Heart, though. The burn heart for eight cent. We'll see if we get enough for both the burn heart and parasite here. Probably not. We're getting a lot of key drops though. I really like that. Yeah, this is this is kind of lovely. This is really stupid, but I'm really into it. Right, let's kill the boss first. Very easy boss for us. Didn't mean to get stepped on. Don't die. It'd get me down. That's very nice, and we'll ignore that devil deal for now. I was just about to say, did that add more shot speed? I don't think it did. That would have been nutty if it added more shot speed. I very much like that heart. That's an enigma heart that will give us a revive. That would be very, very nice. But I, I doubt we're getting that. Yeah, this is this is quite the wacky build we've built up here. The items have, uh, have, have created something quite magical. It looks like there's a potential for us not actually getting enough money. Potential. Oh, no, no, no. I th okay, I think we can just about do it. I really need to get my speed going as well. Right. Come in here. Let's bomb that, crack that. That's a very good item to get there. There's our money that we needed. Good, good. In fact, let's buy this now. Okay, not, not too much lag. I don't really know if it's working. I can't tell. Everything's moving so fast that I'm having a hard time seeing if it's working or not. We might be able to even buy an extra burn heart. Oh, who's an extra burn heart with that golden penny? Ooh, actually, it might still be plausible. Damn you, small cat. I didn't want to bomb you, but you made me do it. How dare you? Okay, so... They're definitely splitting, but they're moving at such high speeds, the the splitting that's occurring is kind of buggy. <laughs> uh, the Furton item, whatever you want to call it, is uh, it leads to a lot of visual issues, but I respect it. I respect the item nonetheless. Sticky Penny. Right, let's get the hell out of here and hope we can stay alive. We're looking pretty good right now, though. We're looking pretty good. This is a very fun run. Considering this is a deleted run where we don't really have deleted items as such. Ooh, we got a Blessing of Fortune here. I can't remember what the Blessing of Fortune does, I'll be honest. Apparently, you've just got to walk underneath these guys to get them to put their asses down on the floor, so thank you for whoever told me that. Um, I didn't realise. Also, just, uh, just as a general thing that I want to say, some of you may have been realising that I've been kind of slacking on replying to comments. Do not worry, I always get to them all. I will always reply to every single comment. Yeah, you just, it might sometimes be up to like a week before I reply because normally I've just got other stuff going on or like I, I kind of leave it for a few days and then reply to them all in one big go. And it's just whenever I have the time for it because it takes me like an hour and a half to reply to them all. Um, but I will always do it. Unt until I literally can't keep up anymore, I'm always going to try and make time for it. Because I, I really, I really enjoy seeing your guys' comments and replying, especially those of you that comment on like a daily basis. You know who you are. Um, I always enjoy seeing your comments. So I, if, if I, if I like your comments, I will always reply. Pretty much every single comment I reply to. Okay, I don't know why that, um, I was just gonna say why that rock destroyed, then I realized it's my spiky ball, which seems to be passing directly over this one, but not destroying it. Um, we need another key so that we can get into that tainted treasure room because I'd be interested to see what's on offer there. I'm, I'm not sure which item we have that can be tainted. I think regular item room takes priority right now. I'm pretty sure this is a good idea. Because of the insane shot speed we have, 
I don't think there's much of a downside. The only big downside is now our rubber cement shot isn't as effective, but because of the insane shot speed, we lose the damage like nowhere near as quickly, so we've just gained a huge damage up there. As you can clearly see, it's working out quite nicely. Calm down, crab. Calm down, crab. Right, we really, really do need... Ow, excuse me. We really, really do need more uh, more keys. We're not really getting the keys that we need. There was a tinted rock all the way back over there, but I don't want to head back until I've got the keys to open the door sort of thing. Hello, coin fella. Damn. We need keys, game. You know it. You know we need them. Yeah, this is quite an insane build. Okay, we got one key. One key is enough for at least the shop. If we don't get a second, we'll go to the shop. If we get a second, we'll go to the tainted treasure room. We did not get a second. Let's see if the boss gives us latch key. This is crazy. This is absolutely nutty. It didn't. We could get salsa though. Increase a random stat. The stat increased applies. It changes every floor. Okay, so we got fire rate for this floor. Right, so unfortunately, we only got the one key. So I guess we'll go to our shop and we'll see what's there. Do I want to traipse all the way back with 0 0.73 speed to get that tinted rock? It's definitely the right decision. It's definitely the right thing to do. But do I want to go to that extra effort? Quite like it's already taken me a year and a day to get back over here. And some of you may be thinking, hey, why don't you just use the Good Trip mod or the Minimap API version of the Good Trip mod? No, it's cheating. I don't like it. Now, that, that is quite something. Baronfly. I think he's just like a shot blocker. There is another key here that I'll buy. And I think I'm going to gamble on a scratch card. I mean, I got my money back. <laughs> I got my money back at least. I'll do it. Why not? I'll do it. I'm trying to think of any other way we can get a key here. I mean, secret room is obviously a plausibility for getting, for getting it. I think it's this room here, isn't it? Nope. This room here, maybe? There it is. Yeah, secret room is definitely plausible. Oh, see, in the end, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. I didn't even think about that possibility. We get to see our tinted treasure. Adds a trapdoor to each shop that leads to the black market. Hell yes, that sounds like a really fun idea. Now... I've got to be careful, because sometimes when you enter the black market, not through a trapdoor. Actually, no, we will be entering through a trapdoor, so it doesn't matter. I was going to say, you, you sometimes can't get out, but if it's through a trapdoor, we should be able to leave through the trapdoor as well. Okay, so we do need more keys to make sure we can get into those, and obviously more health to trade away at the black markets. But, I really like the idea of that. Anyways, we're not going to need much else in this room. We're going to be absolutely wrecking our way through pretty much everything. One second. Right, let's keep her going. But yeah, we're going to absolutely destroy this run um, with the, the speed at which we can kill things here. Um, this has got quite a lot of strength to it. But yeah, hopefully we can get more red hearts uh, just so we can play out our uh, black markets a little more often. Because they can be super lucrative. Super, super lucrative. So I'd like to, I'd like to get everything we can to make them work. Beautiful. We'll try and trade our space bar at some point as well, because while this one has been good to us, it's not amazing. Where the hell's our, our ghosty boy? There he is. Just a troll bomb. Come on now. Man, this is, yeah, this is crazy. We kill stuff pretty much instantly. And then also the spike block in the smaller rooms seems to just be spawning on top of enemies and killing them for us pretty much instantly. Okay, there's a chest over there, but I'm going to leave it for right now. 
Nah, I want to keep my fire right. We've got a really good thing going on with this urn. More games for bomb chase opens them for free. That's kind of an interesting idea, uh, but I don't think we need that. Oh, extra bombs I'd like, please. I have to do a bit of a walk around. I'm really hoping we get a speed up soon. Because this low speed, just it just makes everything feel so... Ugh. Like, it makes a powerful run like this just not feel right. Normally when you're this strong, you, you, you just have the extra speed just because you've been getting so many items. But it just feels so wrong to not have the extra speed. Okay, I think this is a situation in which we'll do this. I think keys are super valuable for us if we don't have any. We're getting stats from them. We can only hold a few of them. We won't be getting them whenever we can. Check this out. I will open these again for the chance at keys. God damn. God diggity damn. More keys. We're getting a lot of chests right now. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Okay, you can slip by those guys. One of my favorite traps, I think. I like it when a when like a living enemy is one of the traps. More keys, okay. We've almost hit our key limit now. So we want to be using them on this floor if we can. Once we get to five, we can't hold anymore. Secret room potentially here? Nah. It, it, it looked like it could have been, but you'll probably see that above us, yeah, there's a, a rock in the way. I just wasn't paying enough attention. There's another key. So that, that's, that's us up to max keys now. Of course, we're about to spend two right here. Ooh, this is... Th this run just gets better. This run just gets better. This is nutty. Firing out those fires that also have bouncing. Okay. Um, okay, I can get in here. Good. I just spawns a ladder like this. Okay. Um, dream catch. This is a very odd looking version of these shops. I think we should maybe take the store whistle. And we'll bounce. Because the store whistle allows us to get... Um, it does It does cost us keys, which I don't know, actually. I need to check this. I don't know if that'll give us stats. But it, if, if it does, it might give us more ways to spend keys. Which I guess I'll try here. Because I think this is the secret room. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but the, more importantly... Okay, so there's orphan socks. We can do this. And it didn't give us stats. 84 cents for that single bomb. I would very much like the orphan socks. So I'm going to try and get them. Um, it allows us to get secret room item procs in these, if you, if you place them down in a secret room. We just need to find this extra two pennies now, um, which I'm not exactly sure where they'll be, but this is always a safe bet to try that out. And we found the other secret room as well. Beautiful. That's a lot of fires. Oh, that's a, that's a good way to get a, quite a bit of money, so thank you. Ooh, that's a very good way to get quite a lot of money. Also, we have so many mini Isaacs right now, it's kind of beautiful. Um, I think we'll buy another one of these. We don't ever want to go below two keys, though. Uh, but we'll buy the orphan socks here. We got a dice shard, which is pretty good. Kind of would have been nice to find that before the orphan socks, but I need the speed, so I'm not that bothered. We'll open that up. And we didn't get anything again. An 87 uh, cent heart there, though. But we have the potential to get secret room items via that method. So, really, really good way of trying to get us some cool items. We can use it in any room we want, but they're the better ones. The only thing is, obviously, the caveat, it requires quite a, lot, quite a lot of keys to make good use out of. And we can only hold five keys at a time, so we have to be smart about where and when we use our star whistle. Two soul hearts. Uh, heart containers are converted into three soul hearts each until they either run out or fill your health bar. Let me just go in here first, because I might be able to trade away this heart. Yeah, let's trade it away. And this actually worked out really nicely. I guess I could dice shard this. Eh, it's it's okay, but I'm not going to take it. We'll take that, and we'll be on our way. 
pretty happy with how things are going right now. I think we've really got a good build together. I keep forgetting that when you see the little pins at the start of the room, that doesn't mean that you can shoot them. It's just telling you they're in the room. Ooh, that was a spike chest. But, but, it did give me Cambian Conception, so not all bad. Thank you to the mod that I create. Oh, oh, I, I say I created. I had the idea for I did not create. Okay, this is a rather creative room, but I do not like it. Like, I'm relying on this dude and he's just not doing what I want him to. Okay, luckily, it didn't take too long to get that done. Ooh, what the hell? You got like a white fire every now and again? What's that fire? Go What's going on with that one? Worm friend is very beautiful. Um, I'm gonna just crack this. I know I should probably play that guy a little bit, but we got a hero font card out of it, so I don't care. Found a secret room. A very good secret room as well. Okay, this is going well. Ooh, and a golden pill as well. And we got a health up too. Nice. Pretty pretty low roll on a golden uh, golden key, but golden uh, pill anyways, but still. Dude, just, just, just hit the thing that you need to hit. Come on now. Oh, I love that little noise he goes. <laughs> it's such a, like, it makes me feel so bad for killing him. Yeah. Right. Before we crack open that one. I know this is a waste of bombs, but hey her. In fact, I didn't even realise we can get into our thingy room from here. We'll pop that, crack it open. Still no items, unfortunately. There is a potential for items. I think it is just lower. I just gotta play our cards and, and try it every time we can. Okay, this, that, with LSD, that, that did look kind of beautiful, with all the fires. Ah, oh, I fell for it. I fell for a door mimic, it's been a while, you got me. See, even now we're on one speed, this still feels really, really slow. Do, 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 do. Okay, we've got some demon boys coming in. Oh, I accidentally dropped my bloody thing. I lost a bunch of fire rate. We've got the cracked penny here, though. That could be interesting. I did not mean to pick that up. My god, there's black fires as well. The fires are just going wild. They scale up to, like, insane sizes. It's... it's it's both beautiful and stupid. I like it, but I also think it might need to be turned back just a little bit so that you can see. Okay, now this is a good item. Mr. Scary. More money for me. Oh, we're just getting a lot of these things spawning naturally as well. Maybe it increases the spawn chance of them as well. Potentially. I, I don't actually know. More keys. Good, good, good. More keys. Good, good, good. And forgot this is mum. It was fiend mum. Very dead fiend mum, but it was fiend mum. Um, I guess I'll just take the Polaroid. Just some chests. 
unfortunately not really what we wanted, but I guess I'll pop this in here. You've got Berserk, and you've got Devil's Dagger. I'll take the Devil's Dagger. That's pretty cool that we can use it in there and get some extras out of it. I'm, I am noticing how it didn't proc twice, though, with car battery. Oh, actually, no. Wait. It, it just let me use it twice, I think. It didn't place two on top of each other, which is kind of good. Ooh, okay, we found our trinket. Everybody knows the sigil is amazing. Also, isn't, I gotta say, Pride Pin's fucking amazing. Pride Pin's basically um, Retribution's version of Fruitcake. Or more accurately, probably $3 bill. But it's gonna lead to a lot of extra wacky tier effects. And more tier effects normally means significantly more damage coming out, so. Overall, this has been a just absolutely knee slapping run. Now, let's not take too much damage now. And I love the sound of these little gemstones we can pick up. That They upgrade the daggers that we shoot out. We can shoot daggers every now and again and they get upgraded. With each, uh, I think it's every like 10 or so of them that we pick up, it gets it upgrades the damage. I can't remember if it's for the whole floor or if it's forever. But either way, it's good. And like I said, either way, it makes, makes a nice sound, so. Definitely can't say anything bad about the nice sound it makes. I did try and play Sigil of Baphomet there, but it didn't quite work. I was just about to say, don't worry. We'll get these soul hearts back. The game likes me today, so it's just... Basically, it's like, oh, you lost a soul heart? Well, here's one back. Seemingly uh, how it's going at the moment, so... We don't have to really feel bad or worry whenever we lose health, because... Unless we do, unless we lose it really rapidly, we're going to get it back pretty, sh pretty shortly, I think. I think the game's been kind enough to me today. It's been kind enough. Hey, there's another key. Lovely. I'm going to try and keep our four keys for when we get to um, Cathedral. Not that we're going to need the items, but it, it always feels a little bad regardless of how powerful your run is to leave those items behind, doesn't it? If you don't have enough keys getting to the Cathedral, it kind of feels like you've failed. It's like not that hard to keep four keys until the Cathedral. So when, whenever, you, yeah, whenever you're doing it, it's always like, oh. Crunch. Lump of coal, maybe? Lump of coal, maybe? That's a Krampus's head. That's not a lump of coal. One red heart, two burn hearts. Both of those are not really up my alley right now. I realize we spent two keys on those and it wasn't super, super valuable for us to do that, but hey, her. I was just, just talking about how I need to keep four keys, otherwise I'll be a failure, but. That was past turtle. This is present turtle. Past turtle's chump. Ooh, I like some of those enemies getting set on fire. I didn't know. I didn't realize some of them, like the uh, little meat things that fly from the side, one side of the room to the other. I didn't realize they could be ones that could be set on fire. Hey, there's another key. We're absolutely blasting through these floors. Like, the rooms are just no worry to us whatsoever. If this guy could get into my line of fire, that would be fantastic. And by line of fire, I both mean it in a literal and metaphorical sense. I did see there was a key in that previous room. Oh, we also got a glitched room here somewhere. Where is it? Ah, maybe we don't? Okay, I thought we had a glitched room. Sometimes the Dormic rooms... Oh, no, it's, it's in this room somewhere. Dormic rooms get glitched. Like, okay, it's, it's here. It's here. Yeah. Sometimes they get bugged, and it, it, like, opens up even though it shouldn't have done. Okay, so we got our five keys. Nice. And it'll cover up a door that actually exists. I do have a sun card, but at this point, we're far enough through this floor where I probably won't make too many more wrong turns, I'm hoping, and I can just uh, wing it, and then um, I say that as I make a wrong turn, and I can then get through the cathedral real fast. Oh, 
Oh, Sigil, I love you. All those extra shots that were lingering around then because of Sigil, I could just walk through them all and not have to worry at all. Uh, what's left? There's a lump somewhere. I see you, lump. Let me keep the sigil, please. We got another key back from it as well. And that gave us speed. Precious, precious speed. I love it. Yeah. Quite the, uh, quite the destruction on you there. I suppose I could go and do hush, but the key situation makes it a little less desirable, so I'm not going to this time around. Cool. One second. One second. Yeah, sorry, my mum just texted me, so I thought I'd better reply. Okay, let's pop this now. We've already gone one wrong room. It's fine, though. These fat sirs will die fast. Right. This should be speedy. Can we use that secret room to skip any rooms or not? Oh god. These edibles ain't shit. Um no, we can't we can't skip any rooms really. We could skip one room, this one, but it's not a big room, so I don't really care about skipping it. Beautiful. Ace of Diamonds or the um, Magician. I think we go with the Magician here. Not that we need it, but I'll take it anyways. Right. You are pretty much wrecked during second phase already. In fact, no, no second phase for you. You don't deserve second phase, my, my good lad. You have been bested. Okay, one of the worst items ever, menstruation. Book of Secrets has been buffed, but I don't really care about it. Um, Shadow Glass, one of the worst items ever. And the Toy Piano, decent. <laughs> but all in all, this was not good. <laughs> not good at all. Okay, let's pick up as many of these gemstones as we possibly can. This will upgrade our dagger a ton for this floor. It also just sounds amazing. Yeah, we got a few upgrades there. Number two! A glass D100. I don't think we really need to go for that, do we? A left hand on this floor? No thank you. Isaac's heart. What what did I do in my past life to deserve this level of bullshittery? This floor's items have been so bad. I mean, number two I like, but a lot of people don't like. Milk! What's going on? <laughs> Is this just give turtle the, ba the worst items in the game? Prank. I don't know what's going on. I think the run's just so good, it's like, nah, nah, nah. We have to give you trash now all we can afford to give. Eh. That, that's definitely a better item, but I don't want it right now. Hello. That's a lot of heads. Right, it's boss time. It was boss time. He's now dead. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that absolutely insane run. Very, very fun indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.